Well, let me start by saying there's a lot of different parasites out there, so I'm gonna try to keep it very general to where you can have a safe and efficient way to practice at your home and as well as gain a new lifestyle. So let's talk about parasiticides. Okay, so if you look at the definition of it, it's the herbs that destroy animal or vegetable parasites in the alimentary canal on the head or skin. So now if you go back and look at the list that I just showed not so long ago, I want you to focus on three particular ones. Number one is garlic. Let me show you how strong garlic is. So you know the tradition of honey glazed ham, right? That tradition came from slavery. A lot of times they work, a lot of slaves work with the food that they had. So they would slice open the ham and they would put the garlic at the top and then glaze it with honey to make the parasites come up and eat the garlic. So they would kill them and now they can actually eat the ham. So imagine incorporating that into your daily usage as far as your diets, or you can even do tinctures for it and things of that nature. And that can help you out. Next, we have caparo. Now, copero is something I'm going to talk about that you should use very lightly. It's not something that you should use every day. It's not something that you should go overboard with, but it's very, very potent. I remember the first time that I did my first like real detox on myself a while back, and I was already in a fasted state. You know, a lot of fluids going through, a lot of fruit juices going through, but when I took that, my body just, the purge was crazy. And I say that to say that it's very strong and it's, per it's very potent and it works but tread lightly. I'm talking about like the most smallest doses that you can take and make sure that your body is well fortified for it. And last but not least, I know it wasn't on the last slide, but I just thought about it, wormwood. But here's the catch and bear with me. I'm, I, a lot of people don't like what I'm about to say because it's a very, just, they don't like it. But let me tell you about the remedy with wormwood. It's to expel the worms. So make you a strong tea, a very concentrated tea with wormwood. And then you use that as your enema. I know, I know y'all wanted to hear how to ingest it and X, Y, and Z and stuff like that. I'm, I'm taking it to another level. But I promise you, I promise you, after a good fast, after a good detox, and you're wrapping it up and then the enemas start rolling or the, the, more, the stronger enemas start to roll through, you will see a significant difference. Don't knock it till you try it. And it wouldn't be right if I didn't leave you with a nice good scripture to hold on to. Third John 1 and 2, I've said this before and I'll say it again, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. So make sure while you're taking the time to quickly alleviate yourself with your diet, form a new lifestyle. You're also praying. You're also seeking God. You're also looking for wisdom and the things that's going to push you to the next level, not only physically, but spiritually, because God hears you and he wants to have a relationship with you. So tap in not only naturally, but spiritually as well. But I hope this helped you out, friend. God bless.